It's a given. Any breed that you mix with a toy and miniature poodle will be an extraordinarily adorable snuggle bug. But poodle mixes have lots more to offer than just companionship and a pretty face. According to canine psychology expert Stanley Corin, poodles are the second most intelligent dog breed. So since each one of the following mixes have a poodle parent, it's safe to assume that they're pretty darn smart. Poodles are also described as hypoallergenic. Actually, no dog is completely hypoallergenic, but poodles are about as close as you can get. They don't shed their coats, and they have very little dander, both of which can trigger allergies. Want to know more about these designer breed pups? Stay tuned to this edition of Animal Facts as we count down the top 10 poodle mixes. Number 10 In the 1990s, Australian breeders developed a designer breed that is a mix of the Poodle and the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. They called their creation the Cavapoo, aka the Cavadoodle or Cavoodle. The breeder's goal was to combine the intelligence of the Poodle with the placid, approachable nature of the Cavalier. Well, what they created is a smart, friendly pooch that's also unbelievably adorable and, thanks to those poodle genes, hypoallergenic to boot. Cavapoos are very playful and crave attention wherever and whenever they can get it, so they make great family dogs. For that same reason, don't expect your Cavapoo to go out of their way to be a good watchdog. They'll be too busy making friends for that. Number 9 The Peekapoo is a kissy-faced companion that will be more than happy to snuggle up to you on the sofa as you read or watch TV, but these unassuming little pups have a secret. They can be fiercely protective watchdogs. The Peekapoo's defensiveness is the result of crossbreeding the Toy Poodle and the Pekingese, another toy breed that since ancient times has been the chosen dog of the Chinese Imperial Court. Pekingese do everything with an air of self-importance and dignity and are unyieldingly protective of their people, scrutinizing all strangers and not hesitating to vocalize their suspicions by barking relentlessly. A bold and courageous breed, they have been known to fight to the death to protect those they love. This fearlessness is an inherent trait passed on to the Peekapoo. So if you want an adorable little mutt that can kick some butt, or at least thinks they can, the Peekapoo is the pup for you. Fun fact! Many Peekapoos are born with an underbite, a trait inherited from their Pekingese parent. Number 8 The Chipu, also known as the Poochie, Chipoodle, Puwawa and Choodle is a designer breed developed through carefully crossbreeding the Chihuahua with the Poodle. Winning fans the world over, with their ability to adapt to any living situation, Chipus are a fantastic fit for apartment dwellers or single family households, with older children or younger ones who have been taught to gently handle small breed dogs. It's virtually a given that a dog with a poodle DNA will be incredibly energetic, playful, intelligent, charming, and cute. It's also safe to assume that a dog with Chihuahua DNA will likely be a sassy little spitfire who will let you know if a stranger is near or if there's a threat to your well-being. Oh yeah, those genes also double the cuteness quotient when combined with those of the poodle. Number 7 Looking for a canine cutie pie that is the embodiment of the best qualities of two of America's favorite breeds? Well, the Shipu, Shoodle, Pushy, just may be the dog for you. Like Feng Shui, the Shipu is a mashup of the Shizu and Poodle that more often than not is a perfect balance of all things doggy. For instance, they tend to be friendly and playful and enjoy moderate exercise, but they also enjoy long naps. Shizus are known for being stubborn, so they may not be into learning new tricks, but will find other ways to interact with you and get your attention. Number 6 
If you're the kind that likes surprises, then Doxy Poo may be the dog for you. Doxy Poos are the product of the Poodle and another unique breed, the Dachshund. It's no wonder that combining two dogs with uncommon physical characteristics will result in pups with physical traits as varied as Forrest Gump's chocolates. For starters, Doxy Poos come in several colors including black, brown, white, and gray. Shades of these colors vary widely from dog to dog. Also, their coat type will depend on which parent they inherited from. A Doxy Poo that takes after its poodle parent will have thicker, curlier hair that requires more maintenance, while one with hair that's more like its Dachshund parent will have short, wash and wear hair that is easy to take care of. Another variable is, of course, body length and weight. Depending on the gene dominance, you can end up with a hot dog or a hot dog. Either way, you'll end up with an adorable little one-of-a-kind sidekick. Fun Fact Doxy Poos have a myriad of aliases including Doc Doodle, Doxin Doodle, Doxin Poo, Doxy Doodle, Doxy Poodle, and Just Plain Doodle. Number 5 When most people hear the word schnoodle, they think of a big bowl of pasta. But in actuality, the schnoodle is more like a big bowl of curls and personality with a face of a teddy bear. A hybrid of the strong-willed, independent schnauzer and the energetic, fun-loving poodle, the schnoodle can be quite a handful. Most schnoodles have strong protective instincts and are barking aficionados, which makes them wonderful watchdogs. Although they're affectionate towards the entire family, they may select a favorite with whom to bond more closely. These attributes come from their schnauzer gene, which also happen to be terrier genes. On the flip side, those terrier tendencies also make digging a popular pastime for the schnoodle. And you'll often see them using their front paws to hold objects like toys and linens. What's cuter than a dog that can use its paws like hands? Fun fact, a schnoodle with dominant schnauzer genes is likely to look like a teddy bear, but with a beard and mustache. Number 4 According to folklore, the Pembroke and Cardigan Welsh Corgis are impish enchanted creatures beloved by fairies and elves. So when a corgi is crossed with a poodle, you get a sweet, perky, irresistible ball of fluff with a side of shenanigans. The corgi poo's high energy annex are generally cute and harmless, but when they do get into trouble, their adorability quotient makes them fairly easy to forgive. They make a great addition to any family and are generally friendly to strangers. That said, their corgi genes also make them very intuitive, so if you're uncomfortable around someone, chances are they will be too. Number 3 Let me give it to you straight. The Yorkie Poo is an itty bitty ball of energy and confidence. Their energy is a trait passed down through both their Poodle and Yorkshire Terrier parents, and as the offspring of the Yorkie, their self-assuredness is all but guaranteed. Yorkie Poos are cherubic little show-offs who will have no problem entertaining family and friends with new tricks and commands they've learned. They also love the attention they get from barking, and sometimes bark just to hear the sound of their own voice. At times it may be a bit much, but when you need a watchdog, it gets the job done. And with a little training, some Yorkie Poos have no problem curbing their enthusiasm. Number 2 One of the original designer breeds, the Cockapoo, aka Cockapoodle or Cockerpoo, it's a combination of the poodle with another breed considered by many to be among the most beautiful of canine species, the Cocker Spaniel. This pairing typically produces offspring with lush coats, angelic faces, and perpetually joyful temperaments. A well-bred cockapoo is a delicate balance of the poodle's natural inclination as a non-sporting breed dog to follow its humans everywhere and the Cocker Spaniel's inclination as a sporting breed dog to follow its nose. Cockapoos are incredibly friendly and usually have no problem getting along with children, visitors, and other pets. Even killed, clownish, and affectionate, this is a hybrid that can brighten anyone's day with its YOLO attitude. 
Fun fact, the ever cheerful cockapoo makes an excellent therapy dog. They even smile on occasion. Number one. Besides being unbelievably adorable, the Malty Poo possesses several other qualities that make it the quintessential small poodle mix. First of all, they're active little firecrackers that have a zest for life and love kids, but due to their size, they must be handled with care, so they tend to do better with older children. In addition, Malty Poos learn quickly, have a docile temperament, and are easy to train, so they can be a great choice for novice and elderly owners. They love to stick close to the humans and often know what you want or need before you do. For this reason, they're becoming increasingly popular as therapy dogs. They also get bonus points for being proficient barkers that will go into watchdog mode when necessary, alerting you to any unusual activity or danger. Multipoos are multifaceted and have universal appeal, which makes them the cherry on top of her poodle mix sundae. So, do you have a favorite poodle mix? What combination of poodle DNA strikes your fancy? If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out a few of these. Might as well smash that subscribe button for future videos. And as always, catch you next time.